Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Math Tutor. This time, pag-uusapan natin is all about multiplying fractions using cross cancellation. So, paano nga ba ginagawa yung cross, cross cancellation in multiplying fractions? But before that, kailangan natin tandaan na yung cross cancellation is just a strategy na ginagamit natin in multiplying fraction. Mag-fold down pa rin tayo sa numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. We can use cross cancellation to reduce part of the fraction using their GCF. So, Pwede, pala na, pwede natin paligitin yung mga digits ng fractions natin using their GCF kung meron ba silang common factor. But, pa-cross natin silang gagawin. So, paano ba natin gagawin yun? Let's move on to my PowerPoint presentation para mas mapaliwanan ko ng mayos at makita nyo kung paano ginagawa ang multiplying fractions using cross-cancellation. So, let's go! Multiplying fractions using cross-cancellation. So, my example is 1215 times 5. Radiant. Kung napapansin nyo, yung digits natin or yung digits sa fractions natin ay medyo malaki. Actually, kayang-kaya yun naman doon i-multiply. For those students na hindi ka masyadong master sa multiplication, may, mahirapan silang mag-multiply kasi yung digits na yung i-multiply nila. So, para lumit yung mga digits sa fractions natin, gagamitin natin yung cross-cancellation na strategy. So, paano ba ginagawa yon? So, pa-cross tayo. Tingnan natin. So, again, gagamitin natin yung greatest common factor ng bawat number. Ititignan natin kung meron man silang common factors. Or common factor. Now, focus tayo dun sa numerator ng first fraction, tsaka denominator ng second fraction. That is 12 at tsaka 20. So, tingnan natin, 12 tsaka 20. May common factor ba si 12 tsaka si 20? Kung nalilito pa rin sa common factor, mag-isip meron bang pwede or meron bang number na pwede mag-divide kay 12 tsaka kay 20? Yes, 12 and 20 can be divided by 2 and by 4. Yung pinakamalaki na yung gagamitin natin kasi nga hinahanap natin si GCF nilang dalawa. So, since pwede sila ma-divide ng 4, so let's divide it by 4. 12 divided by 4, that gives us 3. 20 divided by 4, that gives us 5. So, from 12, naging 3. From 20, naging 5. So, lumalit na siya. Next is yung numerator sa second fraction natin tsaka yung denominator sa first fraction natin that is 5 tsaka 15 tingnan mabuti meron bang pwede mag-divide kay 5 tsaka kay 15 yes, 5 and 15 can be divided by 5 so therefore pwede na silang malesser down, pwede na silang reduce so 5 divided by 5 is 1 15 divided by 5 is 3, so from 5 naging 1, from 15 naging 3 so, our fraction, lumit na yung mga digits natin sa fraction. From 1215, naging 3 over 3. From 520th, naging 1 over 5. So, in this process, magpo-proceed na tayo sa numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Kung napapansin nyo, lumit na yung mga digits natin sa fraction. Lumit na yung mga digits sa fractions natin. So, let's move on. Let's multiply the cross product. So, 3 times 1, that gives us 3. 3 times 5, that gives us 15. So, our answer is 3 over 15 or 3 fifteenths. But always remember that our answer should always be in lowest term. So, sa tingin nyo, naka lowest term na ba si 3 tsaka si 15? Yes, hindi pa sila naka lowest term kasi both 3 and 15 can still be divided by 3. Pwede pa natin sila divide ng 3. So, therefore, pwede pa natin siya i-reduce into its lowest term. So, 3 divided by 3 and 15 divided by 3, that gives us 1 third. So, the final answer is 1 third. So, that's how are we going to use cross cancellation in multiplying fraction. Again, cross cancellation is just a strategy na ginagamit natin in multiplying fraction. We'll follow on pa rin tayo sa numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, that's how are we going to multiply fractions using cross cancellation. Hopefully, hopefully na may natutunan kayong bago sa lesson na to and... Good luck. Let's see you in my next video. So that's how are we going to multiply fractions using cross cancellation. This time, kaya naman. Solve this one. If you happen to know the answer, try to comment down below. And yun. So see you in my next video. God bless.